Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am uh, in central Utah on Boulder Mountain, where I'm gonna be for two nights, three days, a little solo trip. Shouldn't see very many people. Whew. And uh, one of the lakes that I'm gonna be camping at does have trophy splake trout and a bunch of other, you know, fish also. So should be a really good time and uh, we're gonna get on the trail. Beautiful, just beautiful out here. Wow, um, did I mention it was only a mile hike to get here? Yeah. So I'm gonna find a place to set up camp and I'm dying to hit the water for uh, some fish. Well, I'm pretty sure I found home for the weekend. I'm gonna set my stuff down right here. And this is actually the site that I was after uh, coming up here. I knew this was here. Uh, I'm gonna set my pack here and just walk around for five or 10 minutes just to make sure that I'm not missing, uh, you know, something better. But this is most likely where my tent's gonna go. Beautiful up here. Okay, so I am all set up. Weather looks incredible. Uh, I'm gonna sit down, set up my chair, have some coffee and some crackers, and then I'm gonna walk down to uh, the lake that I'm camped at and get a line in the water. Um, I will be doing some exploring, but uh, you know, I wanna fish for an hour or two and then kinda go from there, but I really need some coffee and a little food first. Hmm. Nothing too fancy this time. Uh, I didn't bring the gourmet Starbucks. I got some Taster's Choice crackers, just a little peanut butter crackers. It'd be a decent little snack. Coffee's on. I couldn't tell you how many times I've poured a fresh cup and then spilled it. Many of those times was a, it, it was my last packs of coffee too. Since then, I've learned that uh, when you think you've got enough coffee packed, double it. All right, I feel much better. I have had a cup of coffee. I've got a little day pack with some stuff in it, fishing pole. I'm gonna go down to the water and uh, just kind of take a look. I probably won't be down there long, an hour or two. I do need to do some things around camp um, so I can be ready for later. And I wanna go hike to another lake, but we're gonna start here and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, <laughs> oh, I just love being here. Uh, you know, up here alone, just super happy. Super happy to be out. Um, first two night, three day trip of the season. Uh, first alpine fishing trip of the season. So I am, uh, I think I'm gonna set my uh, pole up right here and uh, start fishing.
go. Some bite. Big fish. The wind helped me on that one. Okay, so I'm just getting back to camp. Unfortunately, my battery went dead uh, down there when I was fishing and I didn't take any spares, but I caught a handful of fish, uh, I caught four. Uh, missed just as many all really healthy fish So I'm back at camp I uh, got another battery for my camera. I'm gonna process a little bit of firewood. I actually don't need to process anything I just need to gather firewood. Um, there's plenty laying around that doesn't need to be cut uh, I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna hike to a, another pond. That's probably uh, 20 30 minutes maybe from me and uh, fish there for the afternoon. So peaceful really really good time Okay, I'm uh, got my day pack back on, and I'm gonna go for a little hike. Got my fishing pole, and uh, spent about 30 minutes collecting some of the wood around camp. Uh, there's plenty. I don't need to waste too much time doing that. So my plan is to hike to another lake, a eh, pond, lake, who knows? Maybe 20 or so minutes away, and I kind of just want to check it out to see if it's somewhere that I want to go tomorrow, or if I want to day hike the other direction. So. Uh, I guess we'll see when we get there. That's such a pretty trail. Yeah, I got a little sidetracked. Uh, I'm on the far south end of the lake. Uh, the lake that I was just going to go to is about 20 minutes behind me. Uh, I think I am going to save that for tomorrow. And I'm going to fish this other side of the lake and kind of swing my way back to camp. So I'll save all the, all the hiking and exploring for tomorrow. Oh, away from camp anyways, but... Yeah, I got a little pink uh, scud on, and we're going to toss it out there and see what happens. That wasn't a very good cast, but we'll work with it. Ooh, had a tug. I'm going to get right back in the same spot and uh, see if I can't get that one to bite again. Good afternoon. Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's like 4.30, maybe 5. Uh, I've been hanging around camp for a while. Uh, fishing slowed down around 2.33, uh, so I came back to camp. It was pretty good there for a while. When I first got here, I pulled a, a, a few out that were really good size. Went to the other side of the lake, uh, caught a couple really small ones. But uh, I'm ready to get down by the water again. So I'm going to go down by the water, uh, fish, and uh, probably spend a couple hours down there. 
Okay, uh, it's just about five minutes from camp, and uh, this is where I was pulling the big ones out when I first got here. So I'm going to start here, and uh, we'll see if we can't catch another. I'm telling you, they're, uh, they're camera shy. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I am having so much fun um, down here on the lake. Been here for about an hour, catching a lot of fish. Uh, fishing is hot. I've got an olive leech pattern on. I believe it's a size eight hook, and they're just hammering it. Um, I think the threads are going to start coming apart here soon. Uh, I hope not, but uh, having a great time. I can't seem to catch them on camera. I, my camera runs and runs and runs, and I turn my camera off, and they just hammer me. But um, Anyways, uh, we'll see if I can't catch another fish on camera. I have taken pictures of a few of them, so uh, anyway, I'm going to put this camera down and get back on the water. I don't know what it is, but this camera is bad luck on the water today. I tried to turn it on uh, so I could catch a fish uh, and actually catch it on film. Then it started raining. Uh, it actually started sprinkling pretty good for a minute, so I uh, packed up and came back to my camp, and now it's not raining anymore. So I'm gonna probably collect a little bit more of the firewood around camp, and uh, I'm kind of watching the weather. If it clears back up, I'm probably gonna go back down to the water again. The fishing is just incredible. So much fun. Um, you know, I just love being up here. And um, if it, stays pretty cloudy i'm probably gonna call it a night and uh have a little, small little fire have some dinner and uh go to bed early but yeah we'll just watch the weather for a minute and go from there oh <laughs> uh, it just takes a little bit of fire to feel good but just got this thing started i'm gonna sit by the fire for probably an hour um i'm gonna have some dinner i was gonna harvest a fish but i uh, i'm not i Turn them all loose back into the water. Uh, I have stovetop uh, stuffing, and um, so I'm gonna boil some water to put into that. Then I have a uh, little uh, star kiss chicken that I'm gonna mix into that when it's hot. Yeah, it's quick and easy, nice hot meal, and um, been an incredible day, but it's time to relax. I'll check in from the tent before bed, and we'll see y'all soon. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it feels good to lay down. It's pretty early. It's about 9.30. It's been a long day. Uh, I'm not necessarily ready for bed yet, but I am. I'm, I'm feeling pretty tired, so uh, in the tent, going to put a movie on. Might read my book. I can't really decide yet, but going to uh, wrap it up for the night. Awesome, awesome day. See you in the morning. Good morning. Beautiful morning, a little windy, but yeah, it's normal up here. Uh, I am sitting in this little shelter that's uh, near camp to just kind of break the wind from me while I have coffee that's cooking. Had some problems. Uh, when I got in my tent to go to bed last night, my sleeping pad was flat, mostly flat. I uh, thought maybe I just didn't close the valve right or didn't blow it up enough. I, I don't know, pumped it up, blew it back up. And uh, it was flat again by midnight, and then I had to blow it up again at uh, obviously midnight, then again at about 3 in the morning. It has definitely got a leak. I don't think it happened this trip. It must have happened last trip, but uh, I can't find it. I might take it down by the water a little bit later and uh, see if I can't uh, see some bubbles in the water. But pinholes and pads and, and, and seams, leaking, leaking seams, they can be hard, sometimes impossible to, to find. I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I don't really want to sleep on the ground again, but I'm going to have coffee and I'm going to go fish and do some day hiking, and I'll, I'll worry about that again later. I'm still going to try and find the hole, but we'll deal with that later. I'm going to have a good day. All right. I'm hoping this other lake has fish. Uh, my coffee's just about done, and uh, we're going to go find it. It's not far. All right. 
Yeah, about a 20 minute walk from camp to the pond. Just uh, behind me in the trees, I'm trying to find a spot to work my way down. What a really neat little camp right there on the shore. All right, I have made my way to the southeast side of the lake, so I'm not uh, casting into a headwind. It'll probably change directions on me now that I'm here, but uh, we'll work with it. So uh, got a little pink midge variation on, and I'm going to start with that. Okay, um, so I'm done here at this lake. I walked around the lake. There's some really neat campsites. Uh, I did see surface activity. There is fish. I didn't catch any. I'm going to work my way back to the lake that I'm camped at and do some more fishing. Uh, these trails down here are so pretty. Uh, I'm struggling, guys. Uh, I don't want to spend another night on the ground in a quilt. Oh, my heck. It wasn't, it wasn't very fun. I don't know if I want to do it again, but I don't want to go home. Leave me a comment below. I'm really curious to what you guys would do if your mattress popped. Sleep on the ground or go home? Another really great campsite. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Um, my battery went dead down on the water. Super windy right now, which is normal. Um, it'll die down a little bit later. Hooked into, uh, had a couple strikes down on the wind, didn't land anything, had a good time. I'm back at camp. I'm gonna go check my pad. If it's flat again, <laughs> I'm probably gonna pack up and uh, head out of here. I have tomorrow off too, so I'll probably go on a motorcycle ride. I'm not upset about that at all. Been a great trip. I love being up here alone. Well, here's my pad, I just pulled it out. It looks like it has air, but that's just a teeny little bit. Um, and that was without me laying on it. If I were to lay on it, it'll go flat in about an hour. Bummer. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna get packed up. So, I'm gonna check in with you here in just a minute. You got it. I'm back on the trail. Headed to the truck. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, but this is only a mile from the trailhead. So it's not like I'm too vested. Uh, I don't feel too bad about packing up. You know, if I was five or 10 back, which you know I will be in the summer, there's no way I'd bail just because of a, a popped pad, but there's no reason to suffer. Man, that ground hurt. I hurt today and that's why. So had a really, really good time. Um, looking forward to getting back out there on the trail just as soon as I can. You'll probably see me up here at least one more time before the higher elevations in the Uintas open up. So. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in, we'll see you soon.